Welcome to this podcasting workflow video about producing a podcast entirely on iOS. This includes doing Skype conversations. Here is the setup that I am using to get this work done on a professional basis uh, that I do at my day job and we'll be doing more amateur podcasting as well. Uh, one of the keys to this is the Zoom H6. This is a recording device that allows you to both get an XLR input, I'm using for my own audio, just an XLR microphone, and then for the iPad input, I've got a line out from the iPad that goes into this capsule that comes with it that gives you a nice line out signal. And what this allows you to do is record directly the SD card as well as get you will get levels of both your audio and your guest audio through Skype or FaceTime or any other app that you can make calls out from the iPad. And on the Zoom, you get a nice headphone output to listen to both uh, your audio as well as Skype so you can hear what's going on. And then the iPad itself has the built-in microphone and your guests can hear your audio, audio through that. You could also use one of the many iOS microphones and use the dock connector or the lightning connector to plug in to get good audio for your guests through that. There's some dongle like microphones that would be good there. So that's this is kind of step one of let's record the audio using the iPad as a host Skype device and getting a, a good recording right there. I'll show you just real quickly here. Here's a Skype test call. Then I'm going to start here. So Skype test calls starting up. You can see levels are transporting there. I can change the, the levels, how high they're going right there. And uh, my audio is coming through now on this other microphone uh, right now. So you can see both le uh, my level now and uh, the first XY is Skype as it's coming back now through that. So that's just uh, getting a quick audio recording. So now that we have the audio recording, I'll hit stop on that. And now it's on the SD card, which historically has been a really bad problem to try to get that off of it because nothing really worked because the camera connection kit didn't give you any access to files. Uh, that is where this amazing device comes in. I got this for $25 on Amazon. I believe Best Buy sells them as well for that $25 price tag. There's a higher end version that retails for $100 that has storage built in. So this is Mobile Light Wireless G3. And what this device does, it, it's an AC mobile router, but also has, and then it functions as a battery as well for a phone. Uh, but the, the key feature is over here, SD card slot and USB uh, input. So you can have a flash drive if you want, but the real key here, SD card slot. So what I do is I pop out the SD card from the Zoom and I put it inside here. And this is an AC router, so the speeds are really fast. I have tested this, 500 megabyte files, it'll transfer within a minute or so. And what this device will also do, it passes through your, if you set up this way, I have it set up to my home Wi-Fi, we'll just extend that network so I've got fast connection through my home network, I'm online at this time, and I'm also now able to grab audio off of this file here. So I'm going to go into the app. And the app does support split screen, which is very nice. So it's called Mobile Light. Uh, let's exit out into the main interface here. Uh, so main interface, home, and it's connecting to it. So you can see here SD offline camera roll. I can go in the SD card and folder ones where that audio lives. And as you can see, I got a ton of different audio files. This is the one we just recorded. It has both tracks there. And let me load up Ferrite and drag that uh, next to it. So let me load up Ferrite. Uh, this just makes it easier so you're not balancing between app to app. So I got Ferrite next to it there. I'm now going to send that over to Ferrite. Um, copy it over. And really fast connection. This was a short file, but even for long, hour long podcasts, this is a really quick process to do. Um, a little bit harder with my hand extended. So let's copy this one in the ferrite. And then now I've got both of these into ferrite. Let's make this full screen. And I can start editing right away. Uh, let me add the other track into it. Import and 
one, two. So this is the track I've got, and I can do all my edits here. You can even now add uh, chapter markers for MP3, sports all of that. So I've got a file I finished earlier today, and I'm on iOS 11 beta, so there is a kink to exporting. Uh, I'm gonna actually run a workflow now to get that off into my iCloud account. So pockets um, uh, encoding to my to iCloud. So I, I'm gonna send this to iCloud, and then I'm gonna show you a really neat thing you can do with drag and drop in iOS 11 to upload that to one of the podcasting networks uh, distributors out there. So I'm going to let this run and be back in a second. Okay, now that that workflow is done, that file has been spit out to iCloud as an mp3 file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Safari. And right next to it is the files app. I've got workflow here. And here is the file that I just finished. And as you can see, I can drag this here and just drop it there and it is now uploading to Pippa. So you can drag and drop from the Files app right into a, a pretty cool um, app like Pippa. There's also workflows where you could just upload this straight to a, a FTP server. Twisted Wave can do that, so you can spit that out, or a Transit, or a bunch of other ways to deal with that file. So this is kind of the workflow. If you haven't used, uh, Ferrite before, it's a really, really neat app. Uh, it stores uh, libraries of your audio, so if you frequently use a bumper, you can store that in here, and when you go in and actually add add a, a bumper, you can search for that. So if I'm searching for an opening, I can find all my opening bumpers, and it's really, really handy. So. Uh, that is my podcasting workflow done entirely on iOS. It's really pretty neat solution and works really well. Uh, out of comparison's sake for the SD card transfer, I have an old MacBook Pro with the built-in SD card slot, and this eight wireless AC device here was doing it faster in many cases. Uh, it was kind of odd. I actually had to transfer the same file four times for the Mac to kind of learn what that file was before it actually beat it out. But a standard transfer, this was beating it every single time by quite a bit. So here's my solution for podcasting on iOS. Uh, if you're just doing local recordings without Skype, you could use uh, a blue microphone or some other iOS microphone that do direct input into the iPad. And this is now a really, I think, good workflow. And I hope this video has helped others. Uh, figure out how to do a uh, production entirely on their iPad. Real quick, I want to let everyone know about a new podcast I'm starting up pretty soon here called iPad Pros. It's all about the iPad, all about how people are getting work done on the iPad, and it'll include interviews and workflows and other handy tips for those getting work done on their iPad. It's called iPad Pros. It's going to be found at iPadPros.net, and I hope you can tune in and listen when it launches. Thanks.